This one's going to be a pretty quick one because we're just looking at nets for some shapes. So I'm going to go through all of them, not just the highlighted ones. 1A, determine the correct net. So it's got a cone, it's got one flat face. So let me just highlight my pen. One flat face and then a wraparound part. So it's going to be this one, B, because there's my one flat face and there's my wraparound part. For B, it's going to have a triangle on one side, triangle on the other, and then rectangles around the outside, three of the rectangles. That's C. If when it comes to this next one, it's got two circular faces and then a wraparound part that when it's stretched out, it's going to be a rectangle. It's going to be this one. That's a cube. That's a cone. This one is going to be a cube and they're all square faces. This has got a rectangle, this has got a triangle, no good. Has to be that one. And this one is a rectangular prism. It looks to have a square face here, which means it must have a square face on the other side, which means four rectangles wrapping all the way around, two squares either side. There's my four rectangles, two squares either side. Draw two different nets for each of these. Uh, I'll just show you what one of the nets would have looked like. So this, because it's 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, that means there's going to be square faces, six square faces, which means, I'll go a different colour, it's going to look exactly like this one over here. Exactly like that one. That's going to be your one for 2A. This one over here now, we're looking at B, that has got, see this line here? That means it's the same as this one, so it's 2 because that's two there and two there, that means actually this face on the top is going to be a two by two square, and so is the one at the bottom, while the rest are going to be rectangles. So it would actually have two squares on opposite sides, okay, so they're two away from each other, and then everything else be rectangles. So it would actually look exactly like this one up here. And as for C, C has got 30 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 15 millimeters, all of the uh, faces would have, well, there would be three different pairs of different sizes, which means it would look exactly like this one here. Okay, you've got your three different pairs. That's one pair, that's two pair, and I'll try and do a little cross. There's three pair, okay? Because they've got three different dimensions. You're not gonna have any square faces. You're going to have three pairs of rectangular faces. So that's what you do for that one. And the last couple of questions, match them to the actual real life shapes. Two flat circles with a wraparound part in the middle. That has to be a cylinder. So I'll write the word cylinder. This here, you've got three rectangles. You've got another rectangle. You've got a square either side. The wraparound part is all uh, rectangular, which means it's got to be a rectangular prism. I'm just going to write rec for short. Six square faces has to be a cube. This, the three wraparound rectangles, triangular faces either side, triangular prism. I'm just going to write tri prism. This one circular face and the wraparound part has to be a cone. And this one here, it's going to be a pyramid of sorts. It's got triangles either side of it. The base of it is here. Yeah, I know it looks like Triforce, but that base is a triangle, which means it has to be a triangular-based pyramid. Triangular-based pyramid. So there's those ones. Hope you found them fairly straightforward. Leave any comments below with any questions if you need.